Hello everyone, I am Shelza Tewari and I have enrolled in Embedded System Internship being conducted by Emertex Information Technology. Today, we are bringing you a project on microwave oven simulation. This project has been created by me and my team, which includes Shelza Tewari, Shraddha Rathor, Prantik Saxena, Shirin Khan. I would first of all like to thank Emertex Technology for giving us such opportunity. Now I would like to move further towards the project description. The content of this project is Introduction to the Embedded System Internship which includes all the details about what we have learned on this internship. Then Embedded System, Microwave Oven, Block Diagram, Requirements, Pixim Lab, CLCD, Tactile Switch, Matrix Keypad, ISR, Timer and the Project Demo. So moving towards the introduction to Embedded System Internship, the project topics that we learned in this internship were the basic introduction about the embedded system, introduction to C language which includes conditional statement, loops and operators. We also learned about arrays and pointers, storage classes, preprocessor, functions and strings. Moving further, we also uh, had an opportunity to work uh, on the MPLAB IDE, XCB for the compilation and Pixum Lab for the simulation. The in, there are, were also the introduction to various peripherals of PIC16F877A. We also got the opportunity to test our skills by giving multiple tests which also told us about what the performance of our uh, internship has been so far. We also had a helpful uh, in the DISHA workshop. Moving towards what is an embedded system. An embedded system is a specialized computing system which is dedicated to perform specific functions or tasks. It is not like a basic computer, but the em embedded system is designed as a part of a larger device or a system which performs a specific function. There are various characteristics of an embedded system that are dedicated functionality, real-time operation, integration, reliability, low power consumption. That is also a reason that we are able to build various projects which are based on real time with the help of an embedded system. There are some examples of an embedded system which are microcontrollers, digital system processors, field programmable gate arrays, FPGAs, application specific integrated circuits. This was a basic introduction about what an embedded system is. Moving further, what is a microwave oven? What it actually does? Let us learn about it. A microwave oven is a relatively small box line oven that raises temperature of food by subjecting it to higher frequency of electromagnetic field, which is used in our daily household life and we now we'll uh, see what kind of modes which are there in the functioning of a microwave oven. There are various modes on which microwave ovens operate but in this project we have focused on four modes which are micro mode, grill mode, convection mode and start mode. Let us learn more about these modes. Micro mode in this process the frequency generator inside the oven works as well as generates high frequency waves which cooks the food from inside out. Grill mode. For grilling purpose, this type of mode is used. Same as micro mode, we have to set the time accordingly. The food is ready. We can grill various items like bread, cookies, meat, etc. Convection mode. In this mode, we can set the temperature and after it, the preheating for 3 minutes will be done. Then we can set the time accordingly and cook the food whatever we want to.
start mode this is a very basic and easy use mode in this mode we just have to click the start mode option and 30 second timer is started and then according to our need we can increase the time as we like moving further the block diagram of an embedded system is shown below in the image a CPU is connected to ADC and DAC which is connected further to the sensors and the actuators CPU is also taking information from human diagnostic ports FPGA ASIC and memory this all is inculcated with a use of a software you can see the block diagram and understand it this block diagram indicates about a microwave oven there are various content in this block diagram such as power circuit IGBT IGBT coupler magnetron PWM serial IF GPIO LED key matrix LCD panel some of the humidity temperature sensors and a recommended non volatile memory you can also see this block diagram and understand it moving on there are various requirements for building the pixim lab uh, internship project which are mp lab xide xc8 compiler pixim lab pic16 f877a microcontroller 6x4 CLCD, MKB, Timer 2, and Tactile Switch. Moving on is the Pixim Lab software, which is a real time emulator of development boards with MP Lab X AVR GDV debugger integration. Pixim Lab supports microcontroller from Pixim, Sim AVR, etc. It has an integration of Arduino IDE and PMP Lab X for programming the microcontrollers board. The purpose of Pixim Lab is to emulate real hardware and it does not have any source code editing support. For code editing and debugging, the tools are available in the Pixim Lab such as MP Lab X, Arduino IDE or VS Code are used. It supports various devices that can be connected to the board for simulation such as the project we have also made that is microwave oven simulation and various softwares and pro hardware projects that can be created on the Pixim Lab software. Now further my friend Shraddha will take over to explain you more about the project that we have created in this internship. Thank you. Coming towards what is CLCD? CLCD is a character liquid crystal display. It is a screen to display the results. You can find this type of display in products such as 3D printers. In Pixim Lab, there are two types of display 16 cross 2 display and 16 cross 4 display. We can use 16 cross 4 display in our project. Now we talk about the textile switch. It is a small size switches are placed on PCBs. It is used to close our electrical circuit. When the button is pressed, the switches is turned on. And the button is released, the switch is turned off. What is matrix keypad? It is the number of textile switches are connected in a row and column. This is used when more number of user inputs are required. These keypads are used mostly in telephones calculators. ISR ISR is a software routine that hardware invokes in response to interrupt. Interrupt are important which will help us to run the programs. It will simply offer interrupts. 
in the required interval so that our program will run properly it must be terminated with the instruct isr attend to request of an interrupting source by clearing the interrupt flag and should save register content that may be affected by a code in the isr timer is an important application in any embedded system which is a default peripheral which maintains the timing of an operation in sync with a system clock or an external clock in this project we have used 4 bit timer timer counter is a software designed to count the time intervals between the events it has many applications such as measuring the time and generating delays thank you this was the all about the project now moving towards the actual simulation we will do the simulation and we will see the code in mp lab thank you so my name is shirin khan one of the team members of this uh, internship project uh, here i am talking about the coding part of our micro microwave oven Uh, project uh, here we have include all the libraries which is required and then we have provided all the types of variable initialization we have initialized the uh, module that is required here we are here we are using the while loop to mention the project and specify different uh, conditions for example if we press key 1 uh, then what should be display it is mention over here likewise all all the conditions are mentioned so for all uh, we have written it also we have used switch case uh, to determine all the conditions in all the cooking modes we have assembled four modes in pixim lab uh, which is displayed in clcd uh, micro modes second one is grill mode third one is convection mode and fourth one is a start mode to start the microwave oven we also declare the function that is required in the main file also uh, everything mentioned in the while loop so that the uh, code will run continuously this one is the clcd programming for display and this one is the key matrix pad programming coming towards the main file we have included all the prototypes and all the required modules that we are using uh, here we are using xc8 compiler Uh, now for compilation we have to build uh, when the build is successful means there is no error and we can uh, simulate so my name is pranjit kachana one of my team member of this project so first of all we have to load a hex file of this code and uh, there is a clcd display over a pic microcontroller board power on in a microwave oven here is a fan as soon as we switch on any mode so here four mode are displayed as we switch on any mode the cooler or fan will run so we can choose any button anything it will display on the output we have push buttons for selecting the modes and we have a buzzer that's why it's not working as soon as we press the buzzer here it will start working so as you can see i have first chosen the convection mode so here i am getting the option to enter the temperature i will enter the temperature set you can give any number you can clear with the help of star or enter with the help of enter so pre heating time we have given 180 second that is set while writing the code it was uh, to set to 3 minutes so it will go on you can also reset it from here 
यू कैन डू द रिसेट इफ यू हैव डन मिस्टेक मी बाय प्रेसिंग द प्री हीटिंग मोड यू कैन रिसेट इट फ्रॉम हेयर एंड अगेन द पावर ऑन स्क्रीन विल बी जनरेटेड एंड यू विल गिव द कमांड If you would like to press any button, that is micro mode or any mode, you can to press R B four button, and then you will get all the four option here. You can choose any button that will generate the code. So that's all about the microwave that we have generated. Thank you so much.